Good morning, Hampton Roads. How's everybody doing today? And welcome to Virginia's only local real estate investing podcast, where we get to talk about local investors, local deals, and all things local. I'm your host, the founder of the Master Investor Academy and author of my best-selling book, Work Just Gets in the Way of Making Money, Scott Jelinek. How's everybody doing today? If you have any questions, concerns, comments, properties you'd like to sell, things you'd like to discuss, you can go ahead and text me directly at 757-699-4227. That's 757-699-4227. So the weather is officially broke. We've been having some great, great days. I uh, I have a lot going on. I've been about busier than ever with buying houses. So I am actually going out of town tomorrow. Um, I had to go out of town because we have a, a funeral we have to attend in New York. And I had a bunch of closings scheduled for this week. And so today I had to go into the attorney's office and pre-sign what I can and then do power of attorneys for the other closings. But it made me think about just how much we have going on. So just this week, there's going to be three more buys and one sale. And the one sale is a big one. I think we calculated we're making $48,000 on it. And then uh, three more buys, one's gonna be a wholesale and two more slow flips. I'm on a complete buying spree, buying slow flips. I have a lot of deals pending though. Um, it's probably about as busy as ever. And uh, if you're not, if you're sitting on the fence, if you're on the sidelines, if you've ever been thinking about getting involved, do not hesitate right now because when you're in markets like we're in right now, it um, the market forgives a lot of mistakes right now because of the fact that even if you overpaid a little, even if you bought, did something wrong, the market's so aggressive right now and increasing so rapidly that you can be forgiven for mistakes. And so it's a great, great time to get involved. Plus the spreads are getting bigger and bigger rather than getting these eight and $10,000 assignment fees when they're in 30, 40 and 50s. And so it's a great time to be involved. That's not what I wanted to talk to you about today though. So uh, what I want to tell you, everybody always says, oh, where'd you eat today? So I went to, uh, I had a burger at a place. What is it called? Union Ale House. This is a place called Union Ale House. It's not in a great location as far as getting in and out to it. Um, it's right on the corner of Virginia Beach Boulevard and Great Neck Road, but it's in that Chambord Shopping Center. So it's kind of tucked away in the corner. But I got to tell you, they their food is incredible. Um, I've been in there once or twice before. This time I went with my family when we were on our way home from a football game. And um, so we had a few appetizers. They make poutine there, which is only a few places make that. It was it was excellent. But then I got a burger that uh, it had um, what do you call it a corn a corn a Mexican corn fritter, which was looked like a burger itself on top of the burger with like queso cheese on top of it. It was I don't know what it was called, but it was absolutely incredible. If you're into burgers and that sounds good, the place was called Union Ale House, and it was on the corner of Great Neck and Virginia Beach Boulevard in Chambord Shopping Center. And um, not that easy to get into, but worth it. It was absolutely delicious. So what I want to talk to you about today is what are you doing? What have you done for your real estate investing business? And what made me think about this was this paper that I'm holding here. So I was meeting with one of our coaching students and he was giving me a detailed list of what he's doing every day. And, um, and this is something that we've gone over with people before. Some people do it and some people don't. I try and tell people to keep track of your daily activities because sometimes people will be in this business for a week, a month, six months, and they'll be like, oh, nothing's happening. I'm not getting any deals. You know, um, it's not working. And then we'll get into, well, what exactly are you doing? And they're not doing anything other than saying I'm a real estate investor, but they're not actually doing anything for their business, not doing anything to make any deals happen. So that's why I typically try and get my people to write down every single day. What did you do today for your real estate investing business? Because if at the end of a week you have nothing but blank pages, there's your answer. You know what's going on. You know why you're not getting deals. Well, so we went over and he had typed it out, actually, his exact list of everything that he has done. This was actually um, for the entire month. But I wanted to go over it with you because he's doing a lot. And he, it's not that it's an excessive amount. He's doing what you need to do if you want to be successful. This stuff compounds over time. So I wanted to read to you what he's done. And so you can take a, you know, an inside look at yourself and be like, well, what am I doing? Am I doing? Am I being that aggressive? Am I doing that same amount of work? Am I doing the same quality of work? So first off, I want to tell you, he, he calculated his total ad spend. This is for March and April. So for March, he spent $1,839 in marketing. And for April, he spent 1,471 was the total spent in marketing. 
Now I'm going to break down all the different things that he's doing. And it doesn't mean that that's it or that's all you can do, but this is what he's doing and he's tracking it. Gorilla cards. Those are the ones we've, we, you know, we've shown you. Six, they look like a $20 bill, $100 bill. We buy houses and a phone number on the inside. He's doing 60 of them a week. 60. 60 of them a week. And I want you to pay attention to these numbers because this is what it takes if you want to be successful, you want to get deals. Billboard cards. These are the ones we stick around. You stick them at a gas station. You stick them when you're in Wawa, Starbucks, a supermarket, wherever. You see a bulletin board. He's doing 120 of those a week. 120 billboard cards a week. Regular business cards. This is the one where he's a little low on. I usually recommend people to do five a day. Um, he's doing five a week of, of business cards. Business cards are what you're only doing hand to hand. Somebody that you actually meet, talk to, talk about what you're doing. He's doing, he's got it listed as five a week. I typically try and tell people to try and do five a day, but depending on what business you're in or if you, what your job is, you may not have that much contact with people to be able to get that much done. Bandit signs. This is another one. He's lower than some, but at least he's getting them done. So on his bandit signs, he's saying he's doing 20 a week. So I usually try and tell people to try and do at least 50 bandit signs a week, but you know, you do something is better than doing nothing. So it's still working for him. So he's doing, he's doing 20 a week right now of bandit signs. Um, direct mail pieces that he's doing, he's doing it through the company that we recommend you guys. Um, I have a, a link I can put on right below this where they give you actual direct mail coach, but he's doing a thousand pieces a month. So again, depending on how full you're going to be, a thousand might not seem like a lot for an entire month. Um, some people are doing 5,000 a month. Some people are doing a thousand a week, but a thousand a month is enough. You're constantly out there. You're constantly getting some traction and that grows over time. Deal machine is not a specific number, although he put in how many he has in there. So deal machine is basically whenever you're out and about and whenever you're going on appointments and before and after, whenever you're in neighborhoods, you're adding in as many as you can that are qualified. And by qualified, I mean the house looks distressed. And when you pulled it up on deal machine, you can see how much they owe and there's some value there. There's some equity. If you guys don't have deal machine yet, I told you already, we have a coupon code for you. The coupon code is free 15, F-R-E-E-1-5. If you use the coupon code, you'll get 15 free credits. So you can send out mailers, try it, see if you like it. It's free. I always tell people, I say, well, why wouldn't you do it? It's free. Anyway, so currently he has 1,218 active leads in Deal Machine and 420 that are still currently with marketing. So that's something he's constantly adding. But once they go through the cycle, they don't market to him anymore. I think he said his cycle is six. My cycle's eight. Everybody decides what they want to do. All right. Now, these next ones are primarily completely free, but it's still stuff you got to do. So um, Facebook posts, he, he, he has it as one post a day, one post a day. It doesn't have to be anything great, anything special. You want to stay active one post and linking it to your website, YouTube videos. He has it down for doing a minimum of one per week. So this is important because this is, this it's doing everything that sets you apart. That's what makes you a successful business is not just picking one thing and saying, okay, I'm going to stick out signs. He's doing all of these different things. YouTube videos is one a week. Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist, two to three times a week. So there's two different things you do on there. One is looking for um, distressed properties. They also pop up on there. The second thing is marketing the We Buy Houses on there. Um, the Carrot Blog articles. If you have a Carrot site, which I highly recommend everybody do, I believe there'll be a link under the video as well. Or if you're on the... Uh, if you're on the um, the podcast, you can go to best investor sites, or you can just go to the YouTube channel and look at the link. Um, if, if you're on a carrot site, they have a thing. If you do the $99 package and not the 49, they have a thing where they call it a, um, what do they call it? An in, not an info pack, uh, article pack, an article pack where you can pick six or 10 or 25 different articles and you, you hit add pack. And now it'll, it'll submit a blog post for you once a week or once every three days or however you set it up. And those posts become optimized in the search and then they link directly to your website. When someone clicks to read the article, they're reading it on your website, which brings them right to your site, which is what you want to do. Um, so he's doing one post per week on the Carrot blog. So far, he says he has 53 people on his buyers list. And, um, and so that is his activity per week. Per week, this is his activity. And so I want you guys to, if you, you need to, play this again so you can listen and hear what is it going to take? What is it going to take for you to be active like that, to do the things that you need to do so that you have a full-time successful business? When somebody tracks everything like we just read there, I have no doubt 
on his long-term success, on how great he's gonna do because it's all compounded over time. So that's all I wanted to share with you. When he gave me the paper, I said this, I gotta share this with everybody because some people think they're in business and all they're doing is sticking out a couple signs or they're, all they're doing is doing some, some SEO. You gotta do a compound effect of a little bit of everything and it'll grow for you over time. That's all I got for you guys today. Um, do something today that your future self's gonna thank you for. Start tracking your daily activities. Let's make that a little experiment. Just pick up a blank notebook, it doesn't matter what it is, and just write Monday and then track what you actually did for your business. Tuesday, what you actually did. Because you're gonna see, you're either filling up those pages with things you're doing or you're on Friday, you're gonna look and have an empty notebook. When you see the empty notebook, it's gonna be no surprise if you're not getting deals. No surprise at all. You're gonna know why. It's because your notebook's empty. That's all I got for you guys today. Have an absolutely fantastic day. Look forward to seeing you soon. And uh, um, go ahead and click like on this so I know that you're out there watching and comment. Let me know what you are doing for your business. 